In this session, we're going to take a look at the masks and how to animate them. We're going to take a look at changing the sky effect in the first clip. In the second one, we are going to take an animated mask and fo follows a lady's face as she submerges into a lake. So let's jump into it and see how masks can affect the different color that you want to change when it's just part of an image. All right, let's do it. To follow along with this lesson, go to where you've downloaded your project files and open 014 mask in one. So the point of this lesson is to talk about masking. This image, it's a drone image, would actually, we would color correct it first like normal. But I wanted to just show you how we could mask out the sky, for example. So one thing to notice here in the effect controls, we don't have a Lumetri section. So just do anything on here. Drag this back and forth, reset it, and that will open up a Lumetri color over on the effects control. Now what we can do once that's open is go to 25%. Just so we have room, click on the pen tool. And we're just going to draw a mask right over this like so. Then we're going to mask feather it by quite a lot because we don't want it to be a straight line because this is moving. Then we can now color the sky a different color from the sea. So if we want the sky a lot more bluer, we can go to color wheels, for example, and then take the midtones, maybe take a more blue, take the highlights, drag them more blue. So before and after. And if we turn the mask off, like so, you can see the difference. And when we run the video, the sky is much bluer than the original. So that's one way to use masks. In this next clip, we see a lady in a lake and she's going to submerge down into the lake. Um, it looks uh, quite the mood of it is quite serious. Um, but it's very, 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 um, not very saturated at all. So let's say we wanted to brighten up her face just a little, just a touch. Still goes with the mood of the scene, but maybe you can see she actually does have makeup on here a little bit. So let's say we want to emphasize that just a little bit. So how will we do that with the mask? So the first thing again, in our effects, we have no Lumetri area. So we're going to just move this, double click. So now what we can do is use this elliptical here. We use the ellipse tool to create something around her face. Like this, we can adjust it to where we need it. Like so. Let's bring that down it up just a touch like so don't forget to also feather it quite a bit here so that it's not a solid line all right next thing to do is we're going to use the mass path i'm going to click on the wrench tool first make sure that preview is set if you don't have this on and you press this you won't see the mask so make sure preview is set to on and then with this on the first frame, press play. Now this is going to go and make keyframes here and go frame by frame through the clip. And it's going to track her face wherever we chose that mask. Now if it gets out of, this is doing actually really good, but if it's not doing such a good job, you can actually stop it at any point and then you can make slight adjustments for that area and then continue to press play and then it will continue on so I'm going to speed this up don't forget that if you need to stop it if the mask is going off somewhere where it shouldn't be and if you watch it's going to go off her head goes off the screen 
The mask is still going to track the face, so that's actually doing good. Now, if the you wanted to do this next, like where the neck comes out of the water, you'd have to do a separate lumetry, make another lumetry panel, and do a separate mask as it's moving out of the water, do one for a neck. But we're going to leave it just like this for the example. So I'm, let it, I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so now you can see that the masking is done. All the keyframes are made here. And it did pretty good with uh, tracking her face. So what we want to do now is then do a color grade. So if we wanted to do a little bit of uh, mid-tones here, just to make her face, so, you know, we can see we could go crazy. But we want to just do that a little bit just to give her a little bit more skin tone so before and after and now if we turn the mask off and we just go over here and then we take a look at that it actually did just brighten their face up from before and not too much that it looks totally different, and it's just to show the um, what you can do with a tracking mask. So that's how you can use a tracking mask, an animated mask. <laughs>